God our Father, thank you for your grace and your mercy. Glory. Heavenly Father, I give you honor, praise, and glory. I thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to speak on your scriptures. Psalms 1914 says, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Father, I pray that each person on Zoom tonight get an understanding of your words. Holy Spirit, I thank you and I pray that our word are in order and delivered and received according to your will. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your son, Jesus. I thank you for your son, Jesus, who sacrificed his life so that we could have life. Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. I welcome um, you friends and family to Bible study tonight. And... Um, I want to start out by saying that um, this is my first Bible study, so I'm a little bit on the nervous side. Um, tonight, we're going to um, start off with the scripture, um, 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the 9th through the 10th verse. And I'm going to read the scripture to, to you. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast Therefore, all of the will boast more gladly about, more my, gladly weakness, about my weakness so that, so Christ that Christ's power, power may rest on me. That is why for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardships, in persecution, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This evening, the Bible study will be conducted by me. My name is Jeanette, and my grandson is on here. His name is Vincent. So we're going to share into um, doing the Bible study together tonight. Mm. All right. If anyone has any questions or, you know, at any time, just jump in and and say, you know, hello. Hello. Can you guys hear me? And go ahead. Yeah. And so, Hi, Jeanette. Hello. This is Daniel. My oh. voice talk. Okay. Boys. Hello. It's Hello. like I'm hearing some more voices than I see screen. Okay. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. So I want to start out by um, sharing with you that, um, and I got this note from Brother Sean. Um, he said, um, a couple of weeks back when he spoke on uh, speaking, you know, about and teaching Bible study to, to let the spirit lead and internalize. So I'm a little bit on the nervous side and I'm, I'm try I'm, you know, I'm uh, working on, um, on that particular piece. I feel like uh, when I was selecting my topic to talk about I first talked about, uh, wanted to speak on um, and being an empty vessel because I feel like an empty vessel at this time. And I then I changed over a couple of times to several different things. And um, I wanted to just share that um, I'm working on training my mouth and and um just um just getting my words 
out. I know what it is I want to say, and I pray that each one of you will be able to receive what it is that I'm trying to say, but I am working towards getting there. Okay, when the people of God are gathered in faith, assembled in order and ready to receive, they will see God's work among them. I can personally say that I have witnessed that. And when I selected the song that I played just a few minutes ago, um, when I think about the Lord, when, when I play that song, it, it reminds me of, of each of us and how we provide guidance to one another. We share the word, we, we, we listen to one another, we learn from one another. And so I, I thought about that. And when I was thinking of, of um, what I was gonna talk about, and I said, when I think about the Lord, it, the first person that came to my mind is Sister Lisa. Um, because the Holy Spirit used her to introduce me to um, introduce me to this Bible study and prayer group. Uh, she she talked to me about getting rid of the weight on my shoulders, you know, and and um, when we talk about the weight on the shoulders, a lot of time that's a lot of the outside um, pressures and things that we have going on in life. And so she spoke with me on that and um, she ministered about uh, the power of prayer and um, me letting the Holy Spirit in just to do his job. And so when, when I thought of that song and I thought of her, the scripture that came to mind was Matthew, the sixth chapter, the sixth through the eighth verse, if everybody could turn to that. I, I'm going to try to do something different here. Hopefully I won't lose you guys. Let's see. Um, okay. Just Matthew to six chapter. Okay. So Matthew six chapter, the six through the eighth verse. But when you pray, Go into your room, close the door, and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. I also, when I thought of that song and I thought of um, at our church um, that I belong to and Sister Lisa attends with me, her husband is the deacon there. And um, he, just about every Sunday, he speaks about repentance and how important it is to repent daily. Many times when he spoke on repentance and he, he talked about it, I was missing the key point. And the key point to that repentance was repenting daily. And so when I thought about him, I thought of Sister Lisa and I thought of him speaking about the repentance, um, it took me to the uh, Acts, the third chapter, the 19th verse, which says repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. Yes. Acts, the third chapter, the 19th verse. So that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. I, I linked the scripture with spiritual renewal. And that was one of the reasons why I selected that one. Um, I wanted to go on by saying that um, 
I'm going to name a few names. So sometimes, you know, people say when you name names and you don't name others, it, you know, I just want to make sure that you know that. Um, I'm, I, I just wanted to kind of share how these particular people have been instrumental in my life and they've led me to, you know, uh, understanding um, the Bible a lot more and being more acquainted with with the Holy Spirit. And um, I wanted to uh, introduce in my cousin, my friend, Sister Mary. Um, she's on tonight. And one of the things um, when, when I think of the Lord and I think about that song, I think about how she listens to me and she offers comfort and peace. And in Isaiah, the 32nd chapter, the 17th verse, the fruit of that righteousness will be peace. Its effect will be quietness and confidence forever. And she's such a peaceful person and she does offer peace to me. And I know that, you know, the Holy Spirit sends, sends her at the time when I most need her, because I'm having a lot of difficulties at this time, health challenges and all, and she's been there for me. Um, I don't see her husband on tonight. He might be there. No, I'm here. Oh, you here? Okay, yay. Um, the reason why I say yay for him, because he's one of the people that always listens to me almost daily or every other day. And one of the things that he closes with with me is the victory is already won. Mm -hmm. And that is found in 1 Samuel, the 17th chapter, the 47th verse. And it says, all of those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's. And he will give all of you into our hands. I welcome another uh, person, uh, Sister Lesia. Um, excuse me. She uh, opened my eyes with um, a sermon that she did one Sunday where she spoke about praying specifically. And that was found, information supporting prayer, praying specifically is found in 1 John, the fifth chapter, the 14th through the 15th verse. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of him. And um, I don't know if Pastor Bell is on. Uh, pastor Bell is the pastor at uh, Antioch Christian Center, the church that I attend. And um, one of the things, the questions that we had this past Friday is what spiritual battles are you currently fighting and that's in the book of joshua that that question was presented to us and at that time um when he talked about that i wasn't for sure um i know that i have so many battles but i wanted to to just bring out a few uh understanding focus consistent prayer time, health, and giving all in prayer to God. And I want to further share um, and, and welcome Sister Sharice, who's on. Um, I didn't come up with scripture on that one, but it's huge. She's so humble. And I just wanted to mention that on here. I'm looking for my parents. Um, it was the first time for them getting on Zoom, so I don't see them. 
I guess they didn't get it figured out um, how to get on here, but their name is Roscoe and Ollie. And um, Exodus 2012, honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Ephesians, the sixth chapter, the first through the third verse, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. Uh, so one of the things I did want to share um, about my parents, um, and I was hoping that they would, would be able to be on, is that I'm so blessed that um, I'm, I'll be 62 this year, and most of my friends and, you know, people that I know, they don't have their, their parents there, but I've been blessed, and I'm, I'm truly, truly blessed to have them in my life. And I have them in my life in, in good spirit and good mind. And I, I honor them. And I, I wish they would have made it on to be able to, to, to just experience this whole Zoom thing. It's, it's huge for some people that are older. I did have a few friends I would have liked to invite, but they don't know how to do Zoom. And they're learning, you know, in time. I'm, I'm sure everybody will will uh, get more comfortable with this. We're going to move on to um, my sister. Beverly is on. Um, she We don't see her face, but I just want to share with you that for the last... A couple of weeks, she's been on Bible studies with me. And although we don't see her, she's not comf quite comfortable yet with the Zoom either. Uh, she keep, she calls me all, all day wanting, she wants the word. She wants the word. She wants to, to, to be reacquainted with the Holy Spirit. We grew up in the church. We, we know the Lord, but we still really don't know the Lord. And so she and I were studying and working on that uh, together. And I pray for her and I ask that you all pray for her too, that she continues to, even if we don't see her for a while, that she does continue to stay with Bible study and prayer meeting. Um, my daughter, she stepped out with the baby. I wanted to introduce her, but uh, she's gone. Um, and um, we're going to move on. I'm going to just give you a, a little testimony about um, last week when Sister Deborah asked me to do Bible study. Um I, I knew this was going to be a challenge for me. However, I welcomed it and I was excited. And many times when I've attended the Bible study, Brother Sean has prayed for my grandson, Vincent. And so when I committed to do the Bible study and I hung up from, from Bible study. I called Vincent and I said, Vincent, what are you doing? He said, oh, Mimi, I'm watching TV. And I said, well, I signed us up for a Bible study class. And he said, oh, okay. I didn't think he was going to be quite <laughs> that excited about it, but he was. He's, oh, okay. And I told him, I said, well, it won't be long. I said, we'll get together. We'll figure out what we're going to speak about. And I said, I thought that we should talk about the Holy Spirit. And he's and so I said, but I want you to know this one little thing about it is this is you and I together. So I want your feedback. I want to know what it is that you feel that we should talk about 
and he said to me, Mimi, I think we should talk about Jesus and his sacrifices. And I said, thank you, Lord. I, I was just so excited that he received all of this well, because for me, I'm still on the nervous end of it. So I am going to um, turn the lesson over to Vincent and let him have a few minutes. Vincent, go ahead, please. <laughs> yeah. Vincent, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Vincent, can't hear you. We need your voice. Talk. <laughs> I don't know why we can't hear him. Maybe you need to check the volume. The volume is volume not... up. Mute. Mute. It's it's not mute, but uh, I think the volume yeah. is down or something. He may not have turned on his audio. Here, let me tell his mom. She's just in there too. Oh, here she goes. That's him. That's that's her, isn't it? No, that's him. Oh, I'm sorry. Just one second. Let me. I think she didn't want to to be connect. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna. Oh, okay. Oh, there's his name, so maybe he'll come back in. You guys know I can't even find the phone number. You got nerves? Mm -hmm. She's in there now. Okay, Vincent, can we hear you? I don't know why we can't hear her. Oh. She's right here. She knows what they're doing something. I don't know why. Okay, well, while they get the, the technical piece together, I'll I'll go ahead and um move on along. Okay. Because I don't know why. We um Can you hear him? No, we can't hear you guys. Or you got the volume, just turn the volume up button. The volume is up. It is. Mm -hmm. And you're not on mute. No, that's not on mute. No, we're not on mute. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, well, maybe you might have to do it on the phone. Okay, can I, can I hear him? This way? Can you hear me now? Yes. We hear you over the phone, yes. We hear you over okay. the phone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so face, I like to say hello. Oh, my name is Vincent, as my grandmother already said. And today I would like to speak to you about Jesus and his sacrifices. Jesus. On Luke. On Luke 18. Oh, yeah. On Luke 18, in Jesus blesses little children. Then they also brought infants to him that he might touch them. But when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called to them, called them to him and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for, for such is the kingdom of God. And stately I say to you, but we does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. This, this just proves that it was another one of Jesus' sacrifices, one of many sacrifices that he has made for us. One, another one of his most notorious his sacrifices was when, was when he was when the entire earth was going to die. But Jesus decided to represent the earth and die himself just so we could live. He died on the cross that very day, even though it should have been us on that cross. We should have died. But Jesus, but Jesus, just because of how humble and great he is, 
is he took he took the sacrifice and did it for us as as he was as he is the child of God. And I think that's all I have to say. Okay. We thank you, Vincent, for um comments. Amen. Okay. And um in closing, sorry, you guys, just one moment here. Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Paul tells us to abandon the chase for pleasure, possessions, and status, to stop living like everyone else. Instead, he urges us to be transformed formed from the inside out. Specifically, he writes that we must be changed on how we think to have our minds renewed so that we can begin to understand God's will for our lives. Okay. So I wanted to um thank each one of you and ask you if you have any questions um about um the lesson tonight the scriptures any of the scriptures that um that i've shared um a lot of these scriptures were personal for me uh but i just had a, a hard time getting my start so i um welcome any you know questions if you have any and and i thank each one of you for taking the time to come aboard but i also want to i also want to introduce another person that's on on here and uh, that's daniel mcdonald he's my cousin um so vincent's my grandson and daniel uh is my cousin and both of them are eager for the word. Amen. And so I just wanted to, to have them involved tonight so that um, number one, they won't be like me a little bit so nervous because it's been so many years since I've spoken or been before people. So it makes it hard, but they're young. And so if we get them now while they're young, they'll be able to just really teach the word and 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 just spread the word throughout the the community amen amen, amen. so i'm going to um turn the lesson um over to brother sean if there isn't anything else questions for me praise jesus thank you sister Jeanette. Praise thank jesus. You. let us clap for jesus everybody thank clap you. for jesus everybody clap for jesus Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you so much for taking that bold step to share this word with us. I'm sure I'm blessed. I'm sure everybody is also blessed. Thank you. And thank you, Vincent, man of God. I appreciate you. <laughs> God bless you, Vincent. Daniel, if you don't mind, would you like to bring us a word next week, Tuesday? Daniel? Daniel? Would you like to bring us a word next week, Tuesday? Daniel, please. He wants to know if you want to speak or have something to say next week, Tuesday. Uh, I'll see if I could come. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So the floor is open. Sister Deborah, please take over. Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, first of all, Jeanette, I'm going to tell you, God used you. So the reluctancy, the, the, the nervousness that you had, be be just be aware that i didn't pick it up okay and we were very comfortable as we listened to you so i want to encourage you stop saying 
I'm this, <laughs> I'm that, I'm hey. that. Let God hey. take over. And I only say that to encourage you. And don't, don't ever think that we're not nervous. I don't know about Brother Sean, but some of us <laughs> are nervous. Okay. As as we begin, because this is all new to us. And if we've sat under, so sorry, if we've sat under churches, how many of us get an opportunity to, to lead Bible study or to say or to ask questions? Because we're 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 sitting, right? And and we're waiting and we're learning, but we have questions. And I just want to encourage you, sis. Don't let the enemy stop you and don't stop yourself because there's so much in you that God wants you to share with us. And I appreciate, I appreciate you stepping up. Thank you. Better and better. It gets better and better. I don't know about y'all. Do y'all be sitting around now saying, oh, when you hear something encouraging, that's going, that, that'll be good to give a Bible study on, right? So I just want to let you know, uh, Brother Sean, this is a door that you're opening to us that's dealing with this fear that we may have in encouraging people and going up and fellowshipping and leading others to God. So let your mouth be the mouthpiece for God. Just let him take over. Just, you know, that whole thing about us decreasing and let him increase because there was a word there was a word Thank in the you. scriptures that we can take away and you have such a supportive family just to see them all and to hear them that you got a family that believes in the word that you can go to. So thank you so very much. Uh, let's go to Erlene. Erlene, did you have a question or comment for Sister Jeanette? Oh, I just want to thank you, Jeanette, for your your courage. And even though you were nervous about it, you stepped up and you did a good job. Mm -hmm. So I uh, agree with uh, Sister Deb that God has more for you <laughs> to teach us. So um, thank you. Okay. Uh, Elaine, was there something that you would like to share? Yes, Jeanette, it, very, very, uh, you were very posed through the technical difficulties, so you didn't miss a beat. So uh, mm -hmm. I think that when you say a lot of us is, you know, how you and your sister are studying together, that's, that's awesome, because um, I think it's just that you want to go deeper, because I know, uh, you know, as we we're, you've been in the church for a long time and just getting through another, getting to another level, which I do am so grateful for the gathering of the disciples that we can do this and encourage one another um, in Bible studies. As Deb said, uh, many ministries we set under, we were being fed. We weren't, uh, I wouldn't say we weren't allowed, but we didn't get up and speak. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we had questions, we, we didn't really feel comfortable to ask. So I'm just uh, grateful. I enjoyed the lesson. Hopefully you will sign up for another one. And um, it's encouraging that your cousin and your grandson, that you're encouraging them. So it's just wonderful. So thank you, woman of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Daniel, was there anything that you wanted to share with us tonight? No. No. Well, we're so glad that you're here. Okay. Thank you so very much. Um, I'm yeah. going to go over to Lisa. Oh, my gosh. Um, Jeanette and Vincent, you guys did a beautiful job. It was such a blessing to see um, our young person on and speak and be very comfortable with how he was speaking and what he was saying and being sincere so thank you for blessing him to be a part of this. And even with Daniel and everyone else that's on for you, um, is you're very encouraging and you're encouraging them to continue to seek the Lord. But the lesson plan and everything you did on here was really a blessing. And you just keep on keeping on for the Lord, both of Amen. you, all of them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. RT? Uh, the of the 
Were there any questions or comments or 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 encouragement that you would like to share with us? Can you hear me? Hello? I think we can hear you. Yes. Uh mm -hmm. your volume button, perhaps? <laughs> no. Nope. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we'll come back to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mary McDonald, welcome. Would you like to give us a comment or share with us something from the lesson? It has been truly a blessing to listen to Jeanette this, e this evening. And I just want to say, you, uh, the nervousness, I wouldn't worry about because God got that all in control. Mm -hmm. Um. It has been, I think the scriptures that you had, Vincent Bree, was just a blessing. It was a blessing to see Vincent on screen doing what he do and showing what, how God is using him. I think that's a true blessing. Amen. Amen. Okay. Vincent? <laughs> Is there something else you would like to share with us? And we want to thank you for, for being a part of this Bible study. Thank you. We appreciate you. Is there anything you would like to say? It's, oh, that's right. Your phone. You would need the phone in oh, order can to you, Can you hear him? He's still on the phone. Okay, go ahead, Vince. I don't need to be up here. One thing I'd like to share is I would like to say thank you. Thank you for encouraging me and and for showing up um and for showing up on this notice notice for Bible study so we can talk about Jesus. And I thought it would and I thought it was nice to gather up and gather up and examine it, you know? And I'd also like to say thank you. Thank you for those that also believe in God and those that follow in his will. Amen. 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 And, and thank you for being an example as well, okay, to us and for us and encouraging us. Thank you for speaking up and not being afraid, okay, from the mouths of babe. And we can learn. We don't have to have this gray hair or we don't have, we don't have to be on the battlefield for a long time because God could use us just where we are and as young as we are. So I encourage you to keep That's keep true. reading, keep praying, and applying God's word, okay? Okay? All right. Farita. Hi. Okay, your, your mute button is on. Still can't hear you. Thank you. Okay, we'll come back to you, but your mute button is on. Okay. Uh Brother Sean, do you want to say something now? Yes. Or should should yes, I thank you? Thank Wait. you. Brother Sean, okay. Yes, <laughs> oh, praise Jesus, praise Jesus. You see, this uh Bible study is fulfilling the purpose that the Holy Ghost laid in my heart that we should be doing this. You see, I don't want to be teaching just other people. This is to disciple people, for people to come out, to share what God has deposited in them that they might not be aware of. For Sister Jeanette, I've been praying for you for a long time so that you do this. And uh, I thank God that uh, you did it and you bless us. God used you to bless us even tonight. Thank you. Uh, I have a word for... Uh, Vincent, Pastor Vincent. Pastor Vincent, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you please open your Bible to Luke 11 and read verse 27, please? Mm -hmm. Jesus heals a centurion servant. Now when he concluded all, all his sayings in the hearing of the people, he entered 
in Capernaum and a Satan. No, no. L Luke 11, verse 27. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, found it. Go ahead. Okay. Luke 11, the model prayer. Now it came to pass as he was praying in a certain place when he when he sees that one of his disciples said no verse 27 go to verse 27 37 three seven. 27 27 two seven. Three seven. Two seven. Yes. Two seven. 27 okay you're still in yeah. Luke 11 Luke 11 yeah Luke Sorry? He said all he has is Luke 24. Vincent, let me help you, honey. Go back to Luke chapter 11. Yes. Go back to chapter 11. Once you get to chapter 11, let me know. Okay. Okay, you see how when you get to chapter 11, it has number one, two, three, four going down. But then the chapter 11, those are called verses. You see it? Now find number 27 within that same chapter. Go down in that line of chapter till you get to where it has a verse 27. Keeping the lead. Do you, did you get to number 27 of that chapter? Mm -hmm. Okay, try reading tw what 27 says. Okay, and it happened as he spoke these things, that a certain woman from the cloud raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast is what is what is you and the breast which makes you which makes you. Yeah, but yeah. he said more than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Amen. Yeah, you see that verse twenty seven is this blessed is the womb that bear you. You see, you are a blessing, not only to this nation, but to the whole world, to the kingdom of God. The womb that carried you, that womb is blessed. Pray Jesus. Uh, I want to pray for you. Okay? And, uh, and Daniel as well. Uh, write this scripture down, Vincent. This scripture, write it down. Luke chapter 2. Verse 52. Yeah, just write it down. I, okay, I was going to say I yeah. wrote for you then. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Write it down. You're going to be using it to pray for yourself. It says, Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and with man. Pray Jesus. Uh, everybody, can we let us agree? I want to pray for these two young men. Hallelujah. Daniel um, and Vincent, can you put your right hand on your chest, both of you? Yes, sir. Put your right hand on your chest. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, the mighty God, the God that has ordained strength out of the mouth of the babes, to silence the enemy and the avenger. I thank you for the womb that bear this young man. May your name be glorified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> I pray for both of you as Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature. May both of you in the name of Jesus Christ increase in wisdom, in stature, not just physical stature, spiritual stature. <laughs> spiritual stamina, spiritual strength in the name of Jesus. And that includes discernment. And may both of you also increase in favor with God and with man everywhere you are, everywhere you go, even in your family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Among your peers, everywhere you go, you shall be singled out from usual favor in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray 
as you share the word of God with us today, you will stand before multitude and share the word of God in demonstration of spirit and power in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been a source of joy to your parents, even to your grandma, by the mercy of the Lord. None of you, you and Daniel, shall be a source of sorrow to your parents in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree the mantle of the prophet of the whole, Makanda Kalia Masenteli Kalia. May the Lord release it unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. We bless your holy name. I secure your lives, both of you, with the blood of Jesus. Nothing will cut short your life. Gunshot will not cut short your life. You will always be at the right place at the right time. In the name of Jesus Christ, the eyes of the Lord that sleep not in that slumber will watch over you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Even though you are in this world, in the name of Jesus, by the virtue of the covenant of the blood of Jesus, you have been separated from the things of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah, in Jesus' powerful name. Everybody say, Amen. Amen. Daniel, can you please write this scripture down? Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Sister Janet, thank you so much for bringing these two young men. It blessed my heart. Marina? Yep. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, thank you, um, Janet. I wanted to thank you because uh, you gave me a little more um, encouragement because I'm very, uh, I'm not a speaker. And uh, you encouraged me to um, to come forth and um, give give a, a, a teaching one day. <laughs> I know Pastor Sean has been, <laughs> been um, pushing me to do it and you gave me some courage and uh, I thank you for that. You did very well. Man, amen. Daniel, did you get the scripture? Yeah, I got, I didn't hear it. Joshua 1, chapter 1, verse 8. Yeah. I apologize, Brother Sean. Oh, oh. Because I didn't know you weren't, I didn't know you were not done. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, man. You are the, you know, you are the, you, you are our anchor every, every week. So, <laughs> praise Jesus. Hallelujah to the mighty God. I want to encourage, uh, if it's possible, if these three young men can be joining us every Tuesday, if it's possible for the parent, if it's convenient for the parent, it will really help them a lot. And uh, really, you can see that most of the time that Lord normally laid recent in my heart, because God has separated him for himself by the revelation. Pray Jesus. I pray your parents, both of you, that Lord will strengthen them, that Lord will encourage them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The purpose for which God has given both of you to your parents will be fulfilled. Not even devil will stop any of you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As the Lord gave his prophet fire, may the Lord give you enough fire in your bosom that you will not be able to stay but to preach the word with power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the man God. Daniel, don't be, don't, don't, be, don't be shy. You have to be bold. You are a man. You see, you, are, you see your name, Daniel. You are a prophet. You are a man. You are called by the Lord. Don't think I am young. Don't think I'm too small. You are not small. God said to Jeremiah, when God said he should go and speak his word, he said he's a, he's a baby, he's a young boy. God said, don't say you are, you are, you are a child that I put my word in your mouth. So don't say you are a child. Don't say you are too young. You are not too young. See, the spirit of the Lord is hold, is greater than anyone. And that spirit will always put his word in your mouth. Hallelujah to the mighty God. Praise Jesus. I don't know, maybe any other person have something to, to say, especially people that join up for the first time. Maybe I don't know, but somebody have any other thing to say, maybe testimonies or anything to share with us before Sister Gina will round it up in prayer. I would like to say thank you for the opportunity to be on this evening. Thank you, Sister Jeanette and Brother Vincent. You did an awesome, awesome job. I am proud of you. 
continue to stay encouraged, allow the Lord to continue to use you. And I just thank God for uh, for both you and Daniel being on for young you two young men. God is good. And I just I, I thank God for being on the line this evening. Thank you. Amen. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you, so thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. Amen. Amen. So, Daniel, will you be able to, okay, maybe you ask your parents if they will, they will be able to let you join us next week, if there's anything in your heart you want to share with us. If not, maybe Sister Farida can bring us a word next week. Sister <laughs> Farida. <laughs> Please don't say no. Don't tell me what you can't do. Tell me what you can do. <laughs> Well, I, I, I wanted to comment and let you know that Daniel lives in uh, Sacramento okay. and Vincent is in Las Vegas. Oh, um, wow. Um, yeah, so they they um, 